Welcome guys to a very fun video, uh, hopefully. Today we're doing another um, kind of behind the scenes um, watch me edit kind of video. Uh, the last time we did one was for 2,000 followers, which was actually quite a while ago now. But we just hit 6k, which is kind of nuts. And we also, we've gone like way past 600 subs on the channel, which is super cool. Thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate it. Like, honestly, I, I love it. It's so exciting. And I'm hoping to be able to do more content in the future. So thank you guys. In today's video, we're going to be taking a picture. We're going to be editing it. I'm going to talk a little bit about my process of editing. I'm also giving away two presets. Um, I'm going to give away this one that I'm using now. And then I'm also going to be making another preset, I think, for the picture that I want. I have an idea in my head, um, so I thought, why not give out that one, too? Because um, why not? <laughs> uh, this one is not anything um, extremely special or anything. It's just, like, a basic one. My Just No Food Basic preset from my New Year's pack, uh, which is the one that I've been using, and I changed it a lot since I posted that video as well. Um, that one crashed and got corrupted on me, so I can start the game. I can use it in the game because it just crashed my game. So I had to make a new one, and I thought, why not, you know, make something that I really enjoy? And I've got this one now, uh, which I really like. It's just like a basic, uh, general, kind of warm, a little bit hazy, pretty bright preset, so I really like it. Um, so if you want this one and also the other one, just check the um, link in the description. I initially had something like completely different planned. Um, I was gonna take like a Halloween picture when I'm recording this. It's the last week of Halloween. It's November 3rd, I think. Um, and I was gonna make like a Halloween picture, but I didn't really have time before October ended and a part of me feels a little bit wrong posting a Halloween picture when it's basically Christmas. I mean, come on, it's November. I got this idea just um, from this outfit that I made for this horse. I really like it. I really like this horse in general. This is like one of my absolute favorite coats right now. I really love riding around on the Halflinger, so I might just buy a few more. Um, <laughs> but that's besides the point. I just really like this outfit and it felt kind of like fall. It's got this like maroon burgundy color and a lot of black and gold. I love using the saddle and like pairing it with a nice bridle. This is like a standard Jess Northwood outfit. I really love using the druid sets. Um, with his hat and then I found this sh shirt or this uh, sweater in the global shop and I was like <laughs> I need it um, So I made it this uh, so I made this little outfit and I thought um, Why not take some pictures in golden leaf? Because I think it kind of matches the color scheme that I've got going on with like kind of the browns and The reds and the maroons like I love the color of these trees so much um, and then also with like the gold and the yellow trees and stuff so I kind of got an idea of what I want in my head but I think I'm gonna just try to take some pictures and see if I can find one that like really speaks to me. But I really love this area of the forest. I think like it's like an underrated place to take pictures. Okay, what kind of pose are we thinking? Because I'm kind of I really like the stop of this horse. I really like the stop of the half singers. So maybe we try to capture something there. Let's just see what do we have here. Okay, this is kind of an awkward moment. <laughs> Sick front legs. Ooh. If we look past the fact that it looks like a little bit, well, I didn't notice the tail slip, like split like that. Look at that, that's so cool. This is kind of a cool shot actually, let's see. Maybe if we'll start off like this. I think this is a pretty cool pose and I like it. Maybe crop it. I don't like the fact that the horse has almost closed its eye. So I think we'll have to do, we'll have to do a different pose. I think maybe, I do like this idea though. I feel like it's pretty dynamic. It like there's a lot of movement going on in the picture so i think is i'm not really good at taking like standing posing pictures you know like the picture perfect um kind of side shots or whatever i feel like i really like working with some more dynamic poses and like a lot of motion let's take a normal one i think we'll make a duplicate of this preset actually because um red maybe I uh, actually really like it, so what do you want to change? I think we'll start off with trying to look at the canvas fog a bit See what colors do we have now? We have like a white and then a pretty red But what if we increase the red a little bit? Where is this? It's at the top, okay So if we flip the colors, how do I do that? There we go <clears throat> Maybe something like this, okay <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. This is a bit of a <clears throat> 
This is an experiment, you know? We'll see what we come up with. I don't mind the red, but I think we need to make the background a little bit darker. I'm kind of like, I'm getting a little bit inspired by um, my good friend Ebba Deerwin's uh, Halloween preset. She's got a really nice dark, I've got it here actually, I'll show it. I don't want to use that one like straight off, almost feels cheating, but you know, this like looks freaking epic. I love this preset so much. She's so good. I mean, come on. Mwah. But I'll see what we want to do. I'm so I'm kind of thinking something similar because this is a little bit bright for me because the horse is quite dark. I feel like I'm I want that like kind of dynamic. Let's see if we can if we bring this down a little bit. Do I have a blend mode on? Uh no, it's normal. So if we were to just make this one black, that does look better already. <clears throat> Sorry. That does look better already. Um but it also kind of mutes the colors a little bit. And I'm not sure I want that. But that can also be fixed in post, so... Hmm. What if we change it actually to not be linear? What if we change it through radial instead? I just gotta locate where my center point is. This isn't terrible actually, hold on. But I also do like... Okay, no, different vibe. We're gonna go with a more orange. And then more red around the edges. Because I'm thinking kind of like, let's see if we can make like a, a sun kind of thing, you know, like a, a warm fall sun. That means the sun should be kind of warm. Let's make it a little bit more yellow. Ooh, now we're talking. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. This is getting better. Let's do, let's move you out of the way a little bit actually. Because like this is, I said I wanted to dark, but actually I, I like this contrast. We'll see. I think we'll darken the edges a little bit and also darken a bit in post. But, um, I like this vibe that we've got going now. This is now the center of our sun. So what if we want it? I think one of, like, here, maybe? Because I'm thinking, like, sundown, you know, it's like, sun's going down. Get all these nice colors with, like, a ton of warmth. If we go through the blending modes a little bit, maybe? Uh... Overlay. I do like the overlay. I need to figure out a way to use it to my advantage, but this is not it, I think. Get darken. What if we... Okay. Hmm. More red. I mean, it doesn't have to be a realistic preset either, you know? I'm just definitely, like, a sucker for it. That doesn't really work with the blue, though. I can't make blue yellow. Curse you, color theory. <laughs> And I can't really make it- I can't really make it anything other than blue with it. That's annoying. Lightness the opposite, yes. Color dodge. Mm, new saturation. Glow is probably gonna be good, actually. The new dodge makes it a little bit too bright. I'm just like- I've set up a really um, harsh and like dramatic- um, dramatic gradient now just like to see a difference because sometimes it can be really hard to even like notice what's going on and what's even changing so i'm making it like quite drastic just so i can see what i'm doing this is what i'm looking for here we go okay yes <laughs> when in doubt use color <laughs> okay so like a little bit of warmth good i've still got like almost a white point here i think we might actually i think we might like use it as full and then we try to reduce this, maybe? Make it a little bit more orange. Okay, and then we try to increase. We reduce or we make it a little bit smoother um, gradient for a bit more glow. Ooh, now we're talking, now we're talking. Okay, now we're getting to what I want. Perfect. I think this is actually good. So the vision I've got now, obviously, like I said, I'm going to do a different post or we're going to do like a different take or whatever. Um, but I think this is a kind of preset that I <clears throat> really like. Let's see. Ooh, it looks epic with the, with my stage depth on. My stage depth here, hold on, let me show you guys. My stage depth is actually just like a gradient picture. I've been using screens, oh, like, I've been using sky replacements a lot, but I really just wanted, like, a different type of, uh, I'm currently using it on overlay mode, let's see, normal, just so you can see what it looks like, it's just like a gradient, 
um, it goes from like a faded orange to like a dark purple or like a darker blue kind of thing. Um, it's kind of hard to see. It's almost black now, but it's like uh, like just for a bit of a different haze. Because I imagine, I don't know if I'm telling myself this, but it feels like it's a little bit less heavy than having a lot of canvas fog and stuff on. And it also allows me to manipulate. Um, <laughs> this looks freaking awful without all the other stuff, but when in doubt, use... Um, <laughs> use your blur to hide your mistakes. That's my motto at this point. Um, this actually looks really cool and I really like this. This is what I want. Um, let's see. We can just take a picture so we have something in case I mess something up. Let's see. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, I do like this pose. I like, like having the hill and kind of the sunflowers and this little tree in the background. So I think we're gonna actually try to stick to the same spot. There we go, and okay, let's see, there we are, okay, now a double click should do fine. Ooh, if I, I wish I was there, damn it. So close, I love this pose, I really love this pose actually, am I, this one's better, because my horse has his eye a little bit more open, I think it can dare to wait a little bit longer, just like a tiny bit. I also think I'm gonna, um, oh I forgot my depth of fog, that's why it was so dark. <laughs> I'm gonna brighten my canvas fog a little bit. Just like a tiny bit. That's nice. That's a little bit more saturated instead of being so dark. Okay. Take three. <laughs> this is just like all it is when I take photos. I just go back and forth trying to get that one moment. Okay, and yes. Kind of an awkward like position, but I love the way he has his ears perked. A part of me kind of just wants to like crop it a little bit, you know, kind of crop it like here, like this far, crop it down here. But I also, hmm. let's see if I can do it one more time. I can't, we can get this perfect guys, come on. Cause I want, I want to seal my position or like my pose first before I start messing around too much with my angles. I also, I already kind of know which background I want. Um, and I feel like the, what, like what I had there and that position, like where I'm trying to aim for, you know, right there, I think that I feel like that gives me a, like a really nice framing um, around my subject. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. I just need to find like the right moment. Okay. I'm also going into photo mode and like clicking again, so I have a little bit more control over my movement. Click a little bit earlier, I think. Uh, okay. And then. Yes, now we're talking. Oh my god, and with the foreground too. This is what we want. Look at that, guys. And then we can use the bush as foreground for a little bit more depth. This is perfect. Mm. God, I love... I think this pose is the best. It's a little bit compromised. Maybe ideally I would have had um, them twist a little, like, a little bit more like this. But I don't like this background as much as I do this one. Or like the angle, I guess. Because I feel like this is a really nice perspective of them. Instead of having like the normal, like from the side kind of thing. This kind of looks cool as well. But I do, I'm using the natural lighting that's coming from this way now. Um, I mean, obviously I can change it. But I feel like this this is, looks the best. I can do this for like a bit of a foreshadowing. But I don't like that. I like the fact that like it's coming from above this, like from the ocean, kind of like above that hill. I, th I think I do like this one, but I uh, might take another one. Um, but this one is like a strong candidate. I'm just like, it can be a little bit better. But I am gonna add some cinematic DOF first, because I want a bit of foreground blur, and I don't like the way that um, Adolf gives like the blur that Adolf gives you. Increase the foreground blur a little bit. There we go. And now we can turn off this. It just makes it so much easier to see a little bit. Okay, so like this kind of thing. The thing I don't like about Cinematic UF is like if you look around my character a little bit, um, it gives like a weird blurry edge and I haven't really figured it out how to get rid of it quite. Okay, let's try a few different angles and see what I like. 
I don't want to go too low now. Like, this is kind of a cool under the chin shot, but also, like, it's a little bit messy, I feel like. You know what I mean? Did I just find a better substitute? I just, like, looked through the list of, like, DOFs. It currently looks quite bad because it's like in front of stuff, but I just want to see if I can like get it to. This is not what this video is supposed to be, but we're doing it now. What I would like for it is to just be like a little bit smoother. I would just like it to be like, a, you see how it's like smoothing or it's like blurring the object, but not the edge around the object. Because you see what I mean? It's like the edges of the object is still sharp, but the object itself has been blurred. Like, within, which I don't like. Okay, let's compare. Because, see how this, like, actually blurs the foreground? This one just kind of, like, is just, like, blurring the, the object, which I don't like. Am I missing something? Do I need to reorder it? Sorry, I keep talking with my hand in front of my mouth. I'm trying to think at the same time. Which is hard when you are stupid. So this does look better. I also do want to pull in my DF a little bit. Like that DF just my manual focus depth is quite far off. Okay. There's so much back and forth. I wanted to be a little bit more angled. Okay. Oh, did I just get like the perfect pose in one try? Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Boop -boom. Okay, yeah, this is what we want. I do like this angle. Do I want it more, like, from above or, like, from below? It's just a little meh. I just wish we could go more, like, I can move the camera more down, but I can't. I've, like, reached my limit, which is super annoying. He said I would like to be even closer <clears throat> to the ground, like, with the camera, so that I could center my horse in the middle of the screen while keeping this level. Because now I'm pretty level with the horse, like here. And I like shooting there. I guess it's like comfortable for me. Um, but I think this is actually like the pose I'm going to go for. Because um, <clears throat> I feel like I've got nice framing with the trees beside it. Um, I guess if I was to be picky, I would have liked this branch to be like up here to fill out this space instead of being behind my horse's ear. But I also feel like this angle feels like a little bit too high up. Um, I just, I like this because it feels a little bit bigger, a little bit more powerful in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be so annoying to edit out with the reins though, but it's fine. We got this. Um... I think this is gonna be our shot and then we'll just like take a few slightly closer up because I'm kind of bad at close-ups to be honest you know what we do we ask for advice but I think I've got one of these is gonna be the shot that I'm gonna use I think because I'm not sure I'm gonna get a different picture because I'm not gonna be able to get like something different you know what I want to change is I want to move the camera more down and that's gonna mean I'm gonna have to ask someone else to do it for me so that I can sit on the ground and stuff and that's just gonna be like a whole hassle so um, I think I'm gonna call it here this is the preset that we're currently using I think I'll share it with both the cinematic UF and um, the whatever the frick this is because I used I use this one now um I don't know what I how I feel about it I recommend you probably tweak it a little bit but at least it's there and it's in the right position so if you want to use it you can if you don't want to use it just uncheck it and then click active to top and it's going to go back down again okay so I think that's where we're going to leave it for now let's uh let's ask for advice and then get to editing so these are the ones she's gonna get to pick from um because these are my favorites that i like um and then we'll see what she has to say because i am terrible at making decisions um so this is what we're doing <laughs> i do this so often i ask her so often for help with pictures she basically runs my account okay let's see that means i have to pick 
I think I'm gonna go with the last one because the more I look at this picture, the more I feel like the head is a little bit warped. <laughs> but this is so hard and I hate making decisions. I really do. Um, okay. So this is the one, we're cropping it kind of like this. Okay, so we got our picture. This is the one that we're gonna be editing, kind of like this. Um, I need to charge my iPad, because I realized I didn't. And now it is time for the editing process. The first thing I do, I just go onto OneDrive on my iPad and I download the photo that I, that I want. I always start off with a canvas that is uh, 1640 by 2360 and then I crop it as I please. Sometimes I don't crop at all, but for this time obviously I had to. Then I go over with a small airbrush and just try to paint out the reins. I either use uh, the technique of just like blending the colors by just trying to color pick in between them or like I did today, which was just uh, to smooth it with the smoothing tool. Both of them works. Um, I think it's important to keep in mind though that Procreate kind of does um, make the colors a little bit muddy, but I thought it worked for this picture and for this horse. Same thing for just like the background. Um, since the background is really blurry, I make sure that my drawings or my like the things that I add also get blurry, so I try to really match the amount of gradient that is in the background already. Just trying to pay attention to where the objects are, like this plant for example, so I don't just like randomly paint over it. Then I started painting out the uh, reins that she was holding, but then I realized that I kind of didn't mind the way that they looked, so I decided to just leave them in. Then I pick a bigger, sharper brush that has a little bit of stabilization on it. I paint the general shape of the reins and then I just raise where I don't want it to be. Then I add another layer um, that I set to a clipping mask and I color pick and try to add some details so it's not so flat. Then the next step is I add another layer, I set it to darken or sometimes darker color, and then I color pick one of the darkest areas of the horse, which is usually like in between the legs or something, just so I can find the tone of the shadows in this picture. And then I just accentuate the shadows and the contrast of the, the horse, basically, just trying to add a little bit more contrast. And of course to my character and also to the background, just so that all of the shadows kind of match. Then I realized that I was missing a stirrup leather because it was clipping through my pants, so I lazily added it in. It looks kind of terrible, but it works. It was fine. Then I add another layer and I'm going to add my highlights. I was initially going to do like broader highlights, but then I decided to only focus on the backlights and smooth that out instead. So you'll see me erasing and starting over. And what I do is I set the layer blend mode to add and then I use a small brush and I paint over um, the edges basically, just like just outside of the object or the character or the horse or whatever just to simulate kind of light breaking through and around the object. And then I also smoothed it out a little bit as you can see here on the main. I just kind of uh, smoothed it out a little bit to simulate the fact that light was hitting it. And where the subject is like right in front of the light source, I make the light really strong and then as it starts getting out towards the edges, I kind of fade it out a little bit. So like here when it's just around the person and just the butt here, I made it really strong and then I started fading it out a little bit. Then the next step is I make another layer, I set it to overlay and I pick one of the colors. So in this case I picked yellow to just like really exaggerate that sunlight and also let it bleed onto my horse a little bit. Then I just add my logo and I set it to overlay and I place it wherever I want it. Then I export it into Lightroom. I have a lot of presets um, and I just pick one that I feel like is a good starting point. Then I start just tweaking it as I please, as I feel like I need to. I add uh, some masks to accentuate the contrast in the picture. Then when I feel pleased enough, I export it. I put it into Rimini. Look, that it doesn't look too messed up. I send it to myself in my own Discord server. 
and then I send it to the before and after in the Star Stable Photography Center. So that's usually where my pictures end up first. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope uh, you found it interesting and maybe you found some new things that you want to try out now. And like I said in the beginning of this video, both of these presets are now down below in the description of this video. If you need help with downloading Reshade, I have a bunch of tutorials and there's also a bunch of help and guides in the Star Stable Photography Center, which is also linked in the description. Huge thank you again for 6,000 followers on Instagram and 600 subscribers on YouTube. It is absolutely crazy. So thank you guys so much for supporting what I do. Thank you guys and bye-bye.